It is easy to deduce Grace Akumu's love for the environment by simply observing the colors on her clothes. She has, for the last two decades, worked for Climate Network Africa, a woman who, three years after the late Professor Angari Mathai was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize, was just a heartbeat away from getting one herself. And for those 20 years, she has drawn inspiration from one environment conservation heroine, the late Professor Wangari Mathai. I first met Professor properly in 1992 in a gym club, but had been, it, that is in person, I'd been reading about her, seeing her in the media, both the prints and the electronic. And it is the unforgettable words that were uttered by the late professor during that brief meeting that filled the then young Akumu, who had just started working for Climate Network Africa with unwavering determination to focus on the disproportionate effects that global warming has been having on African nations. She told me that work hard Climate change is new. Work hard and defend Africa's interest. That turning point in her life years later saw her become the lead author for the fourth assessment climatic change report under the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, earning her IPCC team the 2007 Nobel Peace Prize, a prize that was shared with former American Vice President Al Gore, earning her recognition and cased memories, moments frozen in time, treasured, and with them a feeling that more should have been done for the late Mathai. They should have recognized this woman even before, way ahead of the Nobel Peace Laureate. Tell me one time that they have appreciated Professor Wangari in life. The government of Kenya could not accredit Professor Wangari Mathai. One would have thought that she would have been top and head of the Kenya delegation. Now, the government is shedding crocodile tears. A chance meeting at a gym changed Grace Akumu's life, perhaps showing that there are many more who continue to draw inspiration and continue to carry on the works that had been started by the late Professor Wangari Mathai. Here, one sees the similarity between Grace and her mentor, two women brought together by a common love. And Akumu is just but one of the many people who got inspired by the woman who steeled herself through untold suffering in her quest to save Uhuru Park and Karura Forest, a woman who saw over 12 billion trees planted worldwide. Maureen Murimi, Citizen Weekend.